Two CONs that are in front of us tonight. Uh, the first one is the AMR con. That application was received. Uh, the state is basically handling the application process per se. Um, they deem the application, if you will, complete, passed it on to us. The con committee reviewed it. We also deemed it complete based on the fact that they already did the preliminary work on it and advise us they have no findings with it as well. Once we, as a committee, deemed to complete, the state did the fitness and competency on um, AMR, and there were no findings there. They basically handle it because there's 10 regional councils that are involved in the application process. That's why each individual council does not handle it. So basically, um, at this time, I would open the floor if anybody has any comments or discussion regarding yes. their... What, what's this kind of about for AMR? It's just a name change. It's a TLA. Transfer. Yeah. Yeah. Transfer. Yeah. Oh, okay. The name of the company is Air Medical Group Holdings Incorporated. So it went from Rural Metro to AMR, and now AMR is transferring it to Air Medical Group Holdings Incorporated. Thank you. I just wanted to. Nobody else? Okay. So at, okay. at that point, I would just, I just request a motion to bring it to the council for a vote. I move that the uh, see one request be uh, submitted to the uh, body for approval and recommend its approval. Just one, one point of order, if I could. If you're going to speak, can you please give your name? Because we have the stenographer. She's not familiar with it, who everybody is. So if you speak once, speak a second time. Every time you get up and want to say something, Please state your name. John Durand, D-U-R-A-N-D. Mm -hmm. Okay, if nobody has any questions or asks for any further explanations, we'll move on to a roll call vote. Um, your vote will either be a yes or a no. Um, to abstain, uh, per 0606 uh, DOH. Um, the only abstention would be if you 
by the transaction of this uh, transfer of the CON would be have a direct financial gain or profit as an individual, which I don't believe anybody in the room falls into that category, but um, if you need any further explanation on that, we can review the, the 0606 policy. If not, we'll just move on to the vote. Dale Banker. Yes. Terry Bentley. Yes. Steve Cooley. Yes. Mike Fuller. Yes. Justin Niederhofer. Yes. Kristen McAdoo. John Miller. Absent. Chuck Prentice. Yes. Lori Schwab. Yes. Jason Spencer. Yes. Albert Chevrier. Yes. Matt Jackson. Yes. Rick Renee. Yes. Sean Downing. Yes. John Duran. Yes. Wade Schwab. Yes. Deb Spires. Yes. Kelly Steele. Yes. Juan Irwin. Yes. Tom Douglas. Absent. Tim Yeager's excused. Bob Youngflesh. Absent. The alternate, Christopher Scapano. That's going to change. That's Andrew Steele now. Andrew Steele. Yes. Cheryl Confer. Yes. John Frozalone. Yes. Richard Kozak. Yes. John Malinchuk. Yes. Jonathan Schultz. Jonathan McKnight. Yes. Chad Shepard. Yes. Andrew Knoll. Yes. David <coughs> McGovern. Yes. Is there anyone in the room? that's qualified to vote whose name I did not call. Twenty-five yes, zero no's. Our Rumsco Council approves of the transfer of the CON from AMR to Air Medical Group Holdings Incorporated. Our 
our second CON vote is for the expansion of Central Orleans Emergency Medical Services to expand their CON uh, to encompass the entire county of Orleans for which they are already based in and are already serving. If anybody has any questions or issues before we go on. John Melanchuk, I have a question. For the record, I watched the hearing, I read and reviewed the administrative law judge's recommendations. However, I have never seen a complete copy of the con. A complete copy of what, John? The application. It was turned into you in Pardon? 2013. You had the original. You originally started the process. Yeah, the shotgun on Conway was turned into you. And that was not modified? No. Just for the two state things that they asked for. They wanted to go back over our finances and made us do fitness and competency over again. I'm not against it. I just wanted to okay. put it in. No, I'm just, I'm just making sure that answers your question. Yeah, what they had to do, John. <laughs> what they had to do is basically some of the documents were outdated, so they just had to go back and get documents updated so they met the six months requirements that they had. So like fitness and competency um, had to be updated and their financials, they wanted updated versions of that as well by the state through the process. So, so other than updating those two documents, there was no change whatsoever? Not in the application itself, okay. no. Thank you. There was nobody during their findings through the fitness and competence. There was no findings from the state either. So, and they did not have to resubmit it. Is that correct? Resubmit the application. No, they just had to amend those two points. So. Thank you. Anyone else? We'll go on to the roll call vote. <coughs> Dale Banker. Yes. You need a motion? Oh, you need, sorry. <laughs> I just want to let somebody else do that. Rick Bernay. I'll second. second. Mike Fuller seconds. Sorry about that. Dale Banker. Yes. Terry Bentley. Yes. Steve Cooley. Yes. Mike Fuller. Yes. Justin Niederhofer. Yes. Kristen McAdoo. Oh, excuse. John Miller. Absent. Chuck Franz. Yes. Lori Schwab. Yes. Jason Spencer. Yes. Albert Chevrier. Yes. Matt Jackson. Yes. Rich Brene. Yes. Sean Downing. Yes. John Duran. Yes. Wade Schwab. Yes. Deb Spires. Yes. Kelly Steele. Yes. Wanda Irwin. Yes. Tom Douglas absent. Bob Youngflesh absent. Andrew Steele. Yes. Carol Confer. Yes. John Fosalong. Yes. Richard Kozak. Yes. John Malinchuk. Yes. Jonathan Schultz. Yes. Chad Shepard. Jonathan McKnight. Yes. 
Andrew Knoll. Yes. David McGovern. Yes. Is there anyone qualified to vote whose name I did not call? Five yay, yes. zero no. For the record, the Big Lakes Rumsco Council approves the COVA CON expansion. When will that take effect? The letter goes off to the state. Then what is it they got? Thirty day, thirty days. Yeah. If anyone wants to file an appeal against it, and then after that, it's in the state's hands. But we have to send the transcripts, the meeting minutes, upload the video. All that stuff has to be done as well. So, but they'll be advised as of tomorrow what the vote is from tonight, and then it's in their hands once they get all our records. Last time, the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Does anyone else have any questions or concerns regarding the CON votes tonight? So at this time, we can thank our stenographer and excuse her. You're welcome to stay if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get the yeah, short version. Thanks.